program longer than all the hours in a week that we have church. Amen. 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 Right. What is that? Revelation chapter 3 and verse 15. That's what? I know thy works. God talking. I know Mirror. thy works. And you that are here, you think God don't know you? You think God got to figure you out? You're not that deep. You're not that smart. You're not that intelligent. Right. You're nothing more than God's creation that comes here and soon he will move you out. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know thy works. God said, I know your works. That thou art neither cold. You're not cold. Nor hot. And you're not hot. I would. God have a preference here. He has a preference. He said, I would. Thou wert cold. That you were cold. Or hot. Or hot. So then because so thou art then lukewarm. Because you are lukewarm. And neither cold nor hot. And you're neither cold or hot. I will spew thee out of my I'm mouth. I'm going to get rid of you. That's right. That's what does right. lukewarm represent? Ease. Comfortable. Yeah. What want to them that are ease in Zion? Yeah. What do hot represent? Accepting of the word. Right. Did not our heart yet burn mm. while he spake with us? What do cold represent? Firmness. Mm. Solid. Yeah. Stability. Sound. Right. When it comes to God, I want to be like ice. ice. Yeah. Amen. Hey, that's right, Frank. Like ice. How did you cold? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I want to be like ice and I want to be hot. Lukewarm threatens my soul. That's right. Lukewarm represents instability yeah. because you're not hot and you're not cold. That's why when you run a tub full of water or in a shower and it's too hot, what you do? You start moving it to, in to integrate more cold water. And if you don't want it too cold and don't want it too hot, you want it lukewarm. lukewarm. That means you can enjoy it. Lukewarm represents sin. That's right. You can enjoy it better. <laughs> That's right. Amen. You can glory take God. You can enjoy it better. I know when thy works. Warm and God Almighty is testifying here. I know thy works. My kid, I'm back to you at the Holy Ghost 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. That's not it. What's it is making it into the kingdom when the Lord comes. That's it. Because all them years can mount up to zero when Jesus comes. That's right. Huh? I know thy work. I know what you're doing. That thou art neither cold. You're neither cold. Nor hot. What are you, viewers? Mm -hmm. What are you? What are you? Are you cold or hot? Cold which, or hot. which is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I would thou art cold. God say I prefer. Thou art cold. That you are cold or, or hot. hot. So then because thou art lukewarm. Because you're, because you're in the middle. And neither cold and nor hot. Neither cold or hot. I will spew thee out of my mouth. I'm going to throw you out of my mouth. But Pastor Jennings, what do you mean he's going to spew you out of my mouth? There's something in his mouth about you he's going to get rid of. Yeah. yeah. There's something going to be uttered about you. That's right. That he's going to discharge out of his mouth. That's right. The spewing will take place when you stand before God mm -hmm. and you hear him say, depart from depart me. Depart from me. Ye he that work that iniquity. Work iniquity. iniquity. You're going to find that your Trinitarian is lukewarm. Yeah. That's right. You're going to find that that more than one God teaching, that's lukewarm. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah, that stuff is lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Having more than one wife and more than one husband, you're going to find that's very lukewarm. lukewarm. It's very lukewarm. Hmm. When you got a hot gospel, that means it burns you. <laughs> Go ahead. It gets you moving. That's right. And thank God that same gospel makes you cold That's right. because you become sound and steadfast in the heat. That's right. Now watch your thermostat now. <laughs> Go ahead. Watch your thermostat. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Watch your thermostat. I know thy works. God don't care nothing how often you come to church and hear the that. Uh, no, 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 no. Ain't no way I'm going to have the Holy Ghost 45 years or more. Or more. Just when the Lord comes, he, he, he ain't going to be overwhelmed. Oh, you my servant, I sent you. You got to come here. Uh-uh. God has sent me to hell, I won't blink. That's right. Someone say what? God has sent me to hell and won't miss me. God ain't got no problem saying to Pastor Jennings, oh, I don't know you. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. God ain't got no problem saying that to me. And I got sense enough to know it. <laughs> That's right. These folks walk around here, oh, I'm on my way to heaven and I'm drawing the trip. No, you ain't. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I used to hear that trash when I came up in falsehood. I'm 
my former preacher used to say that. Yep. I'm on my way to him. <laughs> he wouldn't say heaven. He would say him. That's right. I'm on my way to him, and I'm enjoying the trip. That's what he would say. It's more easier to go to hell. Oh, yes. All it takes is one sin to go to hell. Just That's one. Right. In order to make it with God, you got to be sinless, spotless. My Lord. That's why I keep telling folks, I ain't worrying about trivial folly. Who coming to church? Who's wearing what? Who's looking at this one? Who's looking at Billy? Who's looking at Actis? Who's looking at Moses? I ain't got on care if Gabriel come and sit on your lap and cover you with his wings and there's only light in your corner from it. That's right. Just in your corner. That's right. Mm -hmm. When Gabriel is done having you glowing, Whoever do these sayings of mine. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of hear mine and doeth them, of mine and do them. I will liken him unto a wise man. He will be wise in God's eyes. Which built his house upon a rock. I don't care if I appear to be foolish in the eyes of people. I don't live to please people. No. Mm -mm. I'm not trying to get ratings from nobody. I am not seeking love from nobody. I am not looking to be appreciated by anybody. As long as I get all that from God, I can stand behind the pew and just shout. Yes. Huh? That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right, Melvin. That's right. Amen. The reason why some of you so far away from God, you worry about who thinking about you. You worry about who looking at you. You go all out your way trying to convince this one of you that you're living right. You go out your way. I don't want them to think evil of me. Who cares what they say? That's right. If they think evil of God, who in the world are you? I don't give two cents what nobody think of me. All you can do is love me or hate me. And me, I'm satisfied with either because I'm on the rock. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm on the rock, I said. That's right. If Williams hate me today, I ain't going to turn my back. No, you wouldn't. Why? I'm on the rock. That's right. Come on, say what? As long as you knew him. Yes. Why? He's replaceable. That's right. I'm replaceable. God replaced Moses with Joshua. That's right. You walk around here like you're so good that God can't pull something and make it better than you. I know God can give the church a preacher better than me. So I said, what? Don't you think like a fool? You think God is handicapped? No way. Jesus, Jesus. You see, most preachers won't say that. No, they wouldn't. Certainly I know this. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You see, I, I believe in staying in my place with God. Hallelujah. Bible said, let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but think sober. I don't think no higher than I ought to think. I know what God can do because he has not written here. I know what God won't do because he's in here. Yeah. Are you kidding what I'm talking? Narrow-minded church going folk. Get on the rock. Hallelujah. Get stable. Hallelujah. Get sound. Stop making church your pastime. That's right. And make it your lifetime. That's right. Should be stable enough that you can be exposed to any religion in the world. And your mind, heart, spirit don't change the size of a gnat's eyelash in his left eye. <laughs> I can go among a false religion and stay in it 20 years and come out with the same message. That's right. Because if you put me there for 20 years, we're going to be battling for 20 years. <laughs> Soundness is of a necessity today. Because there's many things out there pulling the people of God out to it that's not worth nothing. That's right. When these preachers offer me their churches and organizations and all that stuff, 
Only if I would bargain. I'm highly insulted. Because God, all, he, God Almighty, he already offered me something. Yeah. Eternal life with him. Okay. Now, who in the world can match that? That's why I say to all my enemies that are watching, who constantly give a thumbs down, I thank God for your hell-bound soul. Amen. You that are hollering and yelling over this message, I thank God for you, because you're back again. Back again. As one fellow said, that the Bible is more in aligned with uh, conservative Republicans than with anybody else. You old fool. That's a God fool. ain't in line with no political party. Right. God is in line with himself. That's right. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God don't think like you. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Another one who don't like for me to talk about the condition of the politicians in the world said, Pastor Jennings, oh, we see he got a hidden agenda now mm. because he keeps preaching against the politicians. We can see where he's really trying to encourage people to vote for Biden and Harris. I don't care if you vote for a dog or a donkey. That's right. Biden and Harris don't obey God. They're going to hell with Trump. <laughs> That's right. I'm not a Democrat preacher or Republican preacher. I'm a holiness preacher here. That's right. <laughs> Who have no hidden agenda, no agenda. whatsoever. Amen. Wonderful. God, I say like Jesus, I speak openly. That's right. In the sin of God. The sin of God. You want to know how we stand on same-sex marriages? We'll tell you. Mm -hmm. You want to know how we stand on the Democratic Party? We'll tell you. Yeah. You want to know what we stand on reference to the Liberal Party? We'll tell you. Yeah. You want to know how we stand on the Republican Party? We'll tell you. Right. And all of our stand is right here in this book. That's right. Right here. Right here, I said. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm not no crazy, wild evangelical <laughs> who's up there yelling in some tongue. Laka baka, shaka baka, laka baka, Smurf, Bugs, Bunny, Porgy Pig, Daffy Duck. I ain't yeah, not that. No. Not here. No. We built on a rock. A rock. We ain't got no sand teaching. Oh, no. No sand man here. Oh, no. Eh? Amen. Amen. No sand man. When you're a false prophet, you the sand <laughs> man. That's right. All that unstable teaching make an unstable people. Yeah. Amen. You better let this message get in you real good, real good and then judge yourself. That's right. Don't come to me after service. Well, you talking about me, you judge your own self, Sandy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> judge yourself. Sandy and Rocky. <laughs> the rock and the sand. Yes. Judge yourself and see what category you're in. See yes. are you sinking? You're sinking, you in trouble. In trouble. And you better, hallelujah, you better go to God hallelujah. and grab hold of God's word. Yes. Hmm? That's right. Before I sink, I'm going to hold on to this. Oh, yeah. They keep me afloat. Oh, yes. Let the wave toss, but brother, if I just hold on to a piece of scripture. Piece of yeah. Hallelujah. That's a hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Just a piece of it. That's right. Thank God when the wind came and tore up that ship. Amen. The apostle said, sirs, be of good ship. Right. Then he told them, because I believe, I believe God. God. That is going to be just like God. Except said. he's abide in the ship. Listen to what the apostle said here. In Acts chapter 27 and verse 31. Except. Except ye, these abide ye in the ship. Stay in the ship. Ye cannot be saved. If you don't stay in the church, you lost. That's right. Mm -mm, you lost. Don't let the devil pull you out. Don't let your wife or your husband pull you out. I don't care how discouraged, how down. Don't let your children Hallelujah. pull you out. Don't let Hallelujah. prosperity uh, pull you out. Don't let vain accomplishments pull you out. That's don't right. let your job pull you out. That's right. Because you're starting to give these things more attention than God. Yes. You've got to have balance. Yes. Where nothing tread on God's territory. That's right. Nothing. nothing. You've got to have balance. Amen. Nothing. Go ahead, 
should tread on God's territory. That's right. God first. Nothing else. Nothing. God first. Nobody else. Yeah. God is not first with your husband. God ain't first with your wife. No, right. God is first alone. alone. That's right. Husband, wife, children, job, everything else is second. Yeah. It don't even come equal to God. Yeah. It don't even get on God's territory. That's right. God first. Are you getting me? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God first. Don't you ever forget that long as you live. Yeah. Amen. My mother and father raised me on that as a child. Yeah. And I ain't met nothing and nobody and been no place that can cause that to swerve. That's right. God first. Yeah. God alone. Yeah. First. God alone. Yeah. Because after heaven and earth pass away, what do you think going to be here? God. God. And his word shall not pass away. Let these sayings sink in your ears. That's right. Eliminate your instability. <laughs> Maintain your house. This is the inspection report. Check your roof and see that you got a leak up here. So you have something come and tore up your roof. Now you can't even concentrate on the word of God when you're in God's house. Right. You sit and think like a fool and look like a fool and act like a fool and become a fool because you built on sand. On sand. Sinking, sinking, sinking. That's right. You've got to be a fool to see you sinking and won't do nothing. Yeah. You won't do nothing? You won't do nothing? Nothing. Well, pray for me. What are you going to do? Yeah. It's like some people get up, pray that I receive the Holy Ghost. Are you seeking it? No. But you want someone to pray you receive it for? Amen. Pray that I receive the Holy Ghost. But are you seeking it? No. Then why are you asking somebody to pray that you receive it and you, ain't, you don't want it? You have to want it. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will Go like back it. to the book of Thessalonians to the beginning of the thing. Back in Thessalonians. So I can knock off. Back in Thess 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, we're at verse 1. Yes. Now we beseech you, brethren, I you there, by, brethren. by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the Lord Jesus and by Christ. our gathering together unto him, How do I? that ye be not soon shaken in mind. Notice, not only, it didn't say don't be shaken. Not soon shaken. That lets you know mind. how people fall in inst inst instability fast. That's right. Don't be so soon messed up. That's right. That's right. So soon. Soon that you be not soon shaken in mind. Only or, time you get on your knees is when you're in trouble. Yeah. If you know a lot of times being prayerful helps uh, penetrate or keep that trouble from penetrating. Yeah. Prayer and a lot of times form a barrier. Where a lot of things won't affect you as bad as someone that's not prayerful. A person that's not prayerful, man, they, they get messed up over anything. Mm -hmm. And then look at a person that is prayerful. Well, <coughs> it don't bother you. Why should it? Mm -hmm. If I got an umbrella and you don't, don't complain that I'm dry. <laughs> that's right. You don't walk around with no umbrella. Right. Why, why am I getting wet? You ain't got no umbrella. <laughs> you ain't got no umbrella. What you expect for you to be? You, why would you expect for someone to be affected like you if you're not doing what they do? That's right. There's no need to expect for a brother to expect to have the results in his physique when he ain't pumping no iron. He lift a Snickers. He curls Snickers. Huh? That's right. You know what I'm saying? 
You don't do no fasting. You don't hardly do praying. You don't sit. The word of God is so available now on YouTube, on your phone, on your, uh, 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 on your laptops. And what you call that other thing they got that look like a laptop? iPad. Not the iPad, the book, what is it called? Book note? Tablet. It's so available now. Some of us, we don't even sit 20 minutes to get our Bible. I'm telling you, God warns his people and say, you are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You will be destroyed. God don't care who you are. He will destroy you for lack of knowledge. And because he's a just God, he's going to make knowledge available. Give you the chance to accept it or reject it. Anybody want to be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. You that are standing, go right to the back, please. Thank God for giving me strength again. I'm only one man. I'm only one man that's doing a lot of work. And it's, it's taxing and exhausting. I want to come along. Oh, you ain't got to do to hush your mouth. Don't, don't ever touch the work of God. That's right. That's right. You don't even touch the work of God. Don't even say nothing negative about the work of God. That's right. Why? It pertains to Him. Yeah. Don't touch it. Amen. Amen. I know my assignment, and I'm going to do it with God's help. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. God assigned it to me. <laughs> Amen. Yes, He did, Will. Yes, He did. God assigned it to me. Showed it to me. Mm. Amen. Ain't no need for no one to come along and go and tell me, he ain't got you. Shut your mouth up and leave the work of God alone for God to move you off the planet. Amen. You bear this thing in mind. There's not a person that's born or will be born that's able to stop the work of God. That's and God has proven it because men have st tried to stop. Yeah. Men tried. Women tried. They tried everything and it all failed fail and it always will because the truth of God is directed by the hand of God. <laughs> hand of God is directing this, right? Not me. Wonderful. The hand of God is at the helm. Hallelujah. Over there. God, hallelujah. Showed me this thing over 40 years ago. He appeared to me, showed it to me, itemized it to me several times. Hmm. I want to say, I don't believe it. Do I even look like I care? <laughs> I done heard the voice. Hallelujah. 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 I done heard the voice of the Almighty and have saw the vision of the Most High. Hmm. And he have spoke to me about this thing and showed it to me many a time. Wonderful. Amen. I'm dedicated to the work of God. I say I'm dedicated. I, I lose wife and children first before I would abandon the work of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, I say I'm willing to lose wife, children, my brothers, my mama before I walk away from the work of God. Why? 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 They don't have no eternal life to give me. They don't have no crown for me. That's right. This crown comes from God. from God. And that's what I'm working for. Hallelujah. Folks don't understand what this thing is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They don't want to. Hallelujah. They don't understand. They don't understand what this thing is. This is a real work of the Lord. A real work of God. It ain't something just put together. 
I didn't eat an egg McMuffin late one night and a thing of orange juice and some tater tots. <laughs> Went to bed and woke up, oh, oh. Or oh, had a grievance. You know, most men ain't sent until they have a grievance with a preacher. That's right. Every time they get into an argument with a preacher, oh, the Lord sent me to do the work that I'm going to do. Before any grievance was between me and the preacher, God showed me this. Yes, he did. When there was no grievance at all, God showed me this. Amen. It's wonderful. Glory to God. Before I met my wife, God showed me this. Yeah. Before Williams was converted, <laughs> Amen. God showed me this. Amen. Hallelujah. Before I had one child, God, I said. Wonderful. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. God, God showed me this. Wonderful. There's a certain way God got to fix you to do it. That's and the truth. There's a certain way that God got to fix you to That's do right. it. That's right. He don't just send you. He fix you a certain hallelujah. way to do it. Hallelujah. And the people won't understand it. Thank God, but God fix you a particular way to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The truth of God message is sent to the world. Yeah. You know we got something to thank God for. Oh, yeah. This message is sent to the world. God is responsible. And he's getting his word out. Yes, he is. I'm nothing more than an instrument used for a period of time to, uh, to arouse the awareness of the human family. That's right. That God may open my mouth to call your attention to the principles of God. You that's out there fighting and one that says speaking in tongue is when you're able to interpret the Bible. It's broader than that, brother. Broader than that. You that fight speaking in tongue, that don't faze me. Some folk write me, I don't believe in speaking in tongue. Okay. <laughs> that's right. That's don't right. make me no difference. No. I believe in three gods. That's your business. That's your business. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Pastor Jenna, you wrong about Jesus Christ as God. I'm going to still preach it, regardless of what you think. That's right. Pastor Jenna, what are you going to tell folk that the black people are the Israelites? Because I'm too busy to tell folk that the black man and all other men is going to hell yeah. that don't obey God. That's right. Care if you're a black Jew, brown Jew, yellow Jew, white Jew, burgundy Jew. Right. Hey, Jew, let all the house of Israel know us surely, surely that God had made that same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Amen. When they heard this, they were pricking their heart and said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Shall we then do? Peter said unto them to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for remission, hallelujah, of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what I'm busy telling you. I don't care if you're so black. You look like darkness in a suit. Until when you walk the street, the sun go down and the moon come up. Amen. Because they can't tell the difference. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you're so white, when everybody see you, they put on overcoats. Because they think it's winter. I don't care. No, you don't. I don't give two cents about your cheap color. Wonderful. Don't obey God, the hell your britches going. Going. All right. Hallelujah. Tune in again at 5 o'clock again when we have thunder after you again. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Again, I want to thank the uh, evangelist Taj for filling in for those few moments. All right, Williams, close us out in prayer.